Jay called me and he said, Paul, we're at my house and nothing's working because I had installed a really elaborate, for the time, uh, electronic system where you could control things from the side of the bed, which at the time was unusual, like the TV and the drapes and the lights and the music through the house. And he said, it's all not working. And I asked him, well, what do you want me to do? He said, can you come over? I said, no, I'm on the date. <laughs> so when he called you, excuse me, were you at home at that point? Yeah, I was at, yeah, uh, I lived in a, a guest house on okay. my parents' property. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, there were no cell phones or anything. Mm -hmm. And so then... Uh, Then I didn't take anything of it, and then the next night, the murders happened. Just before that Thursday night, we had uh, Miss Tate and I was up for dinner. We had... Uh, Miss Tate and Krakowski and... Yes, sir. Miss Morgan. Yes, sir. And uh, he drank and uh, I had uh, Bamoose gin and I put it in our orange juice. And I would drink that what I was drinking. And they said, what's the drink in there? I said, it looked like a nice drink. So I fixed everybody. Well, she took me just a little bit, Angus, not much. So they had one round of that. Then they had dinner. Then they had champagne, so they called up to the store up in the canyon up there and got the wine and the champagne from the store up in Benedict Canyon there. The store, and they made it delivered to the house. Delivered. Yes, sir. And um, from that, they had dinner when they got through it, done look at a TV program. So they, they you know. That was Thursday. Yes, sir. That was Thursday night, sir. And, uh, not to bother looking at TV, you serve them, then you wait till they get ready for the next drink. You know, you got to be cleaning up, washing up dishes and cleaning up, things like that. So they were looking at a pro program in his room. In his room, they was all looking at the TV. There's some programs on, but I didn't, you know, I, I, I wasn't in the room. I just went when they asked me to come in and bring something into the room. Picking up glasses, such as that. And um, they stayed down. Uh, where they had steak, salad, ice cream, sherry, and I made a uh, bowl of jello, uh, just jello. You made the curtain? Yes, sir. And then, that was, uh, when I got through with that, that was around about pretty close to 11 o'clock. They left between 11.30, close to 12. Just the three here before? Just the three. That's the only two people, or three people, that you've seen in that house? Uh, that was the only three people that had been in that house uh, from the prior to his death, until uh, Mr. Greenwald's son, his twenty son, come to the house to pick up a suit. And when was that? That was the following day before the funeral. Pick up a suit for? Mr. J.C. Yes. To be buried? Yes, sir.
And when I went in the house, I recalled that he said things weren't working. And then I poked around and said, it's true, there were some issues. And I found where I had installed uh, a wire that went from the inside of the house to the outside to control all the lights on the ground. Mm -hmm. That 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 wire had been cut and you could see that it was just cut. It was you could see the shiny copper. You know, it hadn't oxidized at all. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing is, whoever cut that wire would reverse all the lights on all the ground. In other words, if they were off, they would come on. And it raised the suspicion in my mind that the reason the trouble he had is they cut that wire and probably cut the cable because there was a cable feed at that time. There was cable. Mm -hmm. Two, they were cutting everything going into the house. Mm -hmm. And when they got to the wire that I had installed, they cut it and all the grounds lit up like a Christmas tree. It was a real simple, simple circuit. With, when you energized it, it reversed the electronic switch. So if you, if you touched a button in the house in various places, the lights would either go on or off. It would reverse, that's all. Uh, do you think that Jay and his guests noticed that all of a sudden the lights went on outside? Uh, no, they were inside. Mm -hmm. uh, the house is kind of raised, the, the garden was more of somewhat below and above, but it isn't something that necessarily, see, especially if, for example, you were in the bedroom with the drapes closed. Mm -hmm. And you had told me last time they also lost cable. They had just, you had installed a new cable television service for them, and I guess it was a new commodity in Los Angeles at the time, and that was the main, he, they were trying to watch a movie or something? Well, I don't know what they were watching, I don't know if there were movies at that time, but uh -huh. that was one of the problems, and I think, I think they started cutting at the pole, so the, there was a pole uh, on the edge of his property. Oh, so this wasn't at the base of the house, this was the, uh, at the edge of the property? Well, we're talking about two things. That cable, TV cable, came off a pole and went into the house, separate from my particular wire that was on. Mm -hmm. Off of an eave at the back of the house. But eave came down and then there was a wall that went about 
mm -hmm. foot away. And so, and you couldn't walk there or anything, so that's where I had the wires looped or dropped. But they found this, and it was cut. I mean, it was cut, cut. It wasn't worn away or, <laughs> excuse me, a rock fell on us or anything. If they cut it, from where were they on the property? Like how far from the structure of the home? So they were right next to us. Right next to it. And would it have been easy to find it, or would you have to know what you're doing? A little of both. Mm -hmm. I mean, be looking for wires going in the house so they couldn't communicate out or whatever. Mm -hmm. or, or, you know, it looked like a phone wire. It did look like a phone wire. Yes. Okay.